Well, we've had two or three very warm days since I last made a video and the gardens really changed. The plants have responded incredibly quickly. The growth has gone, the, the ground has just about disappeared now, except in a few places. Just covered in a lovely carpet of foliage and colour. The Erythronians from sitting in tight bud, there's many now out. They've joined the Corydalis. Even some of the later Helleboris that didn't suffer are coming up and looking good. So let's have a wee walk up this site. Come round here past the Pyrrhusiers. A group of Erythronium Creighton cover girl. Coming into good flower. And then down here a range of Revolutums. Just a carpet of, color, of greenery and foliage is lovely. Up there, Erythronium Susanna coming out. Yet more Corydalis. Trilliums, could be ashy types. Now we've got some of the Redlera meliagris coming in. There's a pair of Erythronium Revolutum hybrids. Not named, just some of the garden hybrids we've, that have occurred here. If I spin around the earlier spring bed, down there a group of Erythronium Revolutum. Ways have escaped from the bed and volunteered into the path. Anemone ranunculoides, Corydalis. Eh, the Corydalis have gone now here. They're the ones that were here flowered, but Erythroniums, the Galanthus, the leaves are all clumps that need splitting this year. A bit of a bare patch by that trillium because I cut this bush right back to open up the ground it was getting too big and taking too much of the ground over. So we have um, Erythronium, this is Oregonum, this is the Oregonum hybrid mini haha -ha just coming out. The cow slips in here, let's just back up. See the carpet of petals, somebody scattered petals on the carpet. That's a, we've been enjoying Rhododendron elegantulum for some time and this heat has just pushed pushed it over and the flowers start to fall off. If I spin around we can see more rhododendrons. Thompson eye and this is a Pachysanthem. More greenery. Trillium grandiflorum's coming up still, some Corydalis hang on. Massa dicentra leaf. Bees buzzing around, lots for the bees to find. The big colchicum leaves that people complain about, they look fine if you just work them into a suitable planting. Here's a this is a Yakushimenum Sariense cross. Varifolium's gone over as well. This is a Racemosum hybrid, I can't remember its name. If we come down and there's more. This is creating cover girl coming through the dicentra foliage. I spin around past the Silmizia. More erythroniums, different dicentras. Down to here, the, on the ground, a trilemo of autumn. Just coming out, self seeded into there. So if we wander around some more to the wall.
Australium rivali. Narcissus cyclamenius and this Erythronium sibericum or Crelovi. Down the face of the wall, my little scheme of planting up is coming good. So we've got seedlings and little flowering plants all down the face of this wall in all the gaps. I've been scattering seed and planting little trilliums. So looks at those leaves next year, some of those are going to flower. Nice dark forms of trillium, erythronium grand, erythronium revolutum. And that's rhododendron, dendrocaris. The bees. Let's just spin around to the other wall. It's early in the morning, it's a bit damp, mist around and I can feel the sea air, so it's cool and moist, but so that this is all Erythronium Americanum. This is the proliferating so-called non-flowering form. It's doing not bad. There are areas at the edges where it's proliferating and making and then all of a sudden you'll get out and here's a, one becomes a flower. It's escaping and and starting to invade the path. So they're flowering down there and up there you can see the, the buds flowering along with Narcissus cyclaminius, Erythronium revolutum and beyond that is another Trillium rivali. If I just spin around here this is a area this big rhododendron here is really r coming over and killing a lot of space. So as soon as those flowers fade, that is going to get cut right back. And I'm going to open up, reopen all this space that's in deep in here again. I'll have to do something with the seat. <laughs> it's collapsing. I don't know what I'll... I'll try and repair it, but the bolts are rusted in and broken. And with the moss, you can see we've not sat on it for a while. The new bed. One of the new plantings starting to grow. Mostly this will flower a bit later. I'm just working at making this planting. And if you look in there in the dark, you can see how much space there is under that rhododendron that I'll be able to open up. There is trilliums I've put in there. But I'll be able to continue the planting across there. So I will spin round. This is the path. All the erythronium self seeding into make it kind of difficult to walk up the path. Another little rhododendron. Uniflorum. But erythronium is just everywhere. Mechanopsis seeding into the path as well. Around here there's more trillium. So they'll soon all come out. A bunch of trillium in the depth there, that's trillium grandiflorum. And through in there the yellow erythronium tuluminense. Out here we've got erythronium revolutum. And this is the Sari Yushimenum cross. And then back round to the, the group of rhododendrons and the wall. So this will conclude this little walk. We'll do another one later when there'll be a few maybe coming up when we can see the flowers open in the heat but it's with the cloud cover today it's just a nice flat light it makes it a bit easier for me to see for the camera to catch for the what's there so thanks for joining me again